so we made a stop before we get to Seiba. This bus takes us to Seiba directly. It's gonna be six, seven hours. Oh man, I just arrived in Seiba. And I'm looking for an internet cafe. So I don't know where to go, where to stay. But dude, seriously, there's like iguanas everywhere. Like, I could be walking right now and an iguana could fall on me right now. They're everywhere. So we are in downtown Seiba. And you guys know the drill, main plaza with the church over there. There's their main plaza and then their government building. Should be over there, I guess. Yep, the blue one. And pretty much I just went to the bus station and then after the bus station I went to a internet cafe and found out how to get to the hostel, which is pretty easy. But I took a bus. I could have walked it, but I just took a bus, which the bus was 25 cents, which was really good. And before anything, I gotta change dollars and I saw a Banco Azteca over there, which is a bank that usually changes pesos and dollars. So while I was in the hostel, as soon as I got there, they told me that um, I shouldn't walk around with that much money and cell phones because they get robbed a lot, which is like, God damn it, dude. Why would you tell me that, man? Which is, it's all right, you know, but now it makes people paranoid because I, I don't know if it's true or they're just trying to be extra careful. Either way, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get some food, which this is like the downtown. I don't, I don't even see that many food places. And then after that, we'll go to the, to the beach. There's a street that is called Calle Uno and it has everything. Oh my god, I asked these guys for some food and they were like, yeah, go right five blocks and you'll see a place red with white. Look where they sent me, Pizza Hut. Are you serious? I want Pizza Hut. So we just passed through downtown and now we're going to the beach. And actually, there's nothing to eat in downtown. And a lot of the places serve chicken, and I don't need chicken. So. And this is very different from. Tegucigalpa. This is definitely more Caribbean. It's hotter. And not just that, also the people are different. Along all of the Caribbean side of the Central America, there's a lot of uh, black people. Uh, so the culture is different. Even the music, the music is so different. So this is kind of like Belize. And I'm pretty sure all of the Caribbean is like this. So this is it. Right here. I guess uh, there's no beach here. There might be some more to the left, but uh, I'll go find that in a little bit. But yeah, I see a lot of people with cell phones out, so I don't know if they were being way too careful or if I can actually have a cell phone. Because without a cell phone, I don't have a map. And I always rather have a map. So there's a bunch of small fishermen over here. But oh, holy crap, this shit's like so dangerous. Shit moves everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna record. This is fucking dangerous. So this is it. Seiba. I thought there was gonna be an actual beach. I mean, there is kind of a pitch over there, but it's very poor and dirty and very small too. But yeah, this is, I guess it's not dangerous, but fuck, if you fall, my camera falls in the water. But I mean, why would they not fix this? <laughs> and then somebody went with a bike over there, what? <laughs> oh man. This downtown is just like any other downtown in Latin America where they sell all kinds of stuff. There's like distributors and then people from all the towns or all the small towns around the city come and buy stuff and then go back to their towns. So I ended up coming to a Pizza Hut. 
because everything else was... First of all, there's not that many restaurants around here. I think people, people cook themselves here. And second of all, all of the restaurants were chicken. I, can't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't eat chicken, so I couldn't eat any more. That's a big thing here in Central America, chicken. They eat a lot of chicken. But anyways, I ordered some horchata, and I gotta say it's pretty bomb horchata for a pizza hut. So guys, I'm back in the hostel, and let me tell you what I write here. I was on Wiki Travel, and what it says on the stay safe part, it says avoid the beach area to the west of the old pier, as it is allegedly the territory of a heavily armed gang. That's actually where I was, and that's actually where this hostel is. Uh, if you ask me, it's not that bad. It is pretty ghetto, and of course at night, I wouldn't be out there. But yeah, that's where I am.